It is a women's bantamweight showdown between Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes. All right, just about ready for live action. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Even match up here on paper, a lot of similarities across the board, evenly matched when it comes to the numbers. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Van Mergliata. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, four losses. She stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a judo fighter. Holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. She stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the former UFC Women's Back and Weight Champion of the World. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. All right, here we go. I am fired up for this fight. It's been a long time coming, and they're finally going to get after you ready? it. You ready? Let's go here fight. we go. Well, Amanda Nunes has every skill in the book. That is why she is the reigning undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. But how will she approach this challenge here tonight? Takedown could be there if she wants it. Or will Amanda Nunes prefer to just stand on the feet? I guess we'll get some answers here early in this one. Oh, double jab. Splits the guard, connects with the punch there, Joe. And she misses with the left punch there. Damaging strike there. Well, she got her head snapped back with that jab, Joe, and she continues to show a vulnerability here by almost leaning right into her opponent's range. Let's see if she can move that upper body and get her head off the center line. Good shot. Oh, huge block for her, Joe. to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Nunes. They are trading huge punches here. Rousey gets caught with that punch. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Oh, that kick is good by Nunes. Rousey's shot is blocked. Oh, nice jab by Nunes. One-two punch by Rousey. That one hurt. First takedown attempt is there. Now she gets her back. Submission attempt for her now. It looks like this submission's locked in for her. Oh, we're getting a finish here. It's getting tighter. She might have to tap any and second. Yeah. Beautiful technique setting it up and a beautiful job in getting that submission. Yeah, really nice job by her there to execute the submission. Clearly she had an opening and she closed the show pretty effectively there. That is one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. And here's the end of the fight.
And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So that win by submission figures to silence any remaining doubters, and that certainly puts the rest of the division on notice. Huge result for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliot is going to stop in this contest at three minutes, 19 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Ronnie Ronda Rousey! All right, so another seminal moment in a career full of them for Ronda Rousey here tonight. She continues the celebration there with her corner, and why not enjoy it? Certainly returning to dominant form here tonight. And I think you can say now she's only getting better at this stage of her career. That is a scary proposition for the rest of this bantamweight division.